Welcome back everyone. Today's video is simply a video to give you a couple of updates, uh, things that are happening behind the scenes um, that I have been shared, okay, for many different reasons. First update is the new Shunyata Altair or, or Altera grounding system, okay? This is about $2,600. With this, comp with this piece, this piece will allow you to ground uh, six different devices, okay? So I'm thinking of perhaps doing my amplifier, my Griffin Apex, my Griffin Commander. Um, I believe I can use two on the Commander because the power supply can take also takes a uh, grounding post uh, grounding cable. Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna do my DAC and uh, let's see what else I can. Maybe my Strong Tank. Okay. So my intent here is to simply understand if this is really worth the asking price of about twenty six to. $2,900. I really don't remember off the top of my head. Okay. Um, I bought two of them, by the way. So two of them will be coming to my system. The reason for that is because I want to try and separate my analog from my digital. I've been talking to Shinyata about this. Um, and so they recommended of how to group, basically how to group my components, what I should use for one grounding device and what I should use for the other grounding device. Um, and they claim that if I try these different combinations, I may hear improvements. Um, and so having conversations with them is certainly helping. Uh, in addition to that, I bought these, look at these cables. <laughs> Whoa, I bought about 11 of these grounding cables. Okay, these are the Sigma Shunyata uh, grounding cables, okay? These are going to be what I'm going to use. The only big top dog that I bought, all right, is the Omega, which is, yeah, look, this is a long Omega that will be used to go from my Kronos turntable all the way to the grounding device. This is like 20 feet, okay? It's about $2,500 for a grounding cable. I know it's a lot of money. I know I can already hear you guys chirping, talking about this, okay? But I wanna do it right. And so I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm waiting for a special adapter that I need in order to ground the this component with this black binding post into my actual outlet. So they sell a uh, special adapter, essentially that I'll use to undo this banana connector okay and plug in what will look like a regular ac uh, connector so that i can go straight into my wall and ground the unit like that okay so i'm waiting for that to arrive before i can start to do my trials in addition to that of course i know you're looking at the big elephant in the room <laughs> yes these are my next flagship loudspeakers they are here they have been here for over two months now. I've never played them on the channel. I've played them for myself. Okay, I have played with them. Unfortunately, I cannot remove my Wilson Audio Chronosonic from where they are because they are completely tuned to my listening position. And so I would hate to undo what someone else did through probably four hours or five hours of work. Okay, so I need to figure out how I can get these away from there, okay? Um, I'm gonna need some help. Take down on a piece of paper all, all the adjustments and where they are located, where the spikes are inserted into the carpet, and then put these in position, okay? And see what kind of results I get. This is a flagship loudspeaker, okay? It is a flagship loudspeaker, top model for a speaker manufacturer. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is a their current top of the line flagship. Okay. Um, hey, I, I'm very impressed with it. I haven't had a moment. I haven't had more than maybe two, three full days of listening. Um, not critically because it isn't critically given the fact that I don't even have them in the right position. But what I did do, and again, it's not optimal. I did place them in front of my Chronosonics. Okay. In here. And same listening area, and I towed him in more or less to get an idea. I know it's horrible. I get it. 
but I wanted to get a feel for the speaker. And I did like what I, what I heard, even though it was a rough draft, okay, of what I should be getting with this incredible speaker. If you're wondering, uh-oh, here we go. Jay is about to sell the Chronosonics. They're going to go. Let me tell you something about the Chronosonic XVXs, okay? First and foremost, I just got done listening to them right now, and I was completely blown away by them again, okay? Uh, my new DAC with the Chronosonics and my Griffin components is a phenomenal combination. There's so much synergy happening between all these components. A friend of mine told me this. <laughs> Full transparency, okay? He said, he saw them, of course. He knows what they are. He said, two things will happen. Either you're going to be so impressed with these that you're going to feel they are not as good as the Chronosonic, but they're sufficient for you, for this room, for the components you bring all the time. The, the size is perfect for your room. And, of course, they're less money than the Chronosonics, so maybe these speakers will just make a case for themselves for themselves to stay in the lab and for you to part ways with the Chronosonic, um, simply because, overall, this is a better fit for my needs. Financially, sonically, the, the size, again, of the speaker and how they interact with my room. Or, <laughs> you might realize how horrible everything else sounds when you compare it to this animal you're gonna be in for a world of hurting because you've climbed so high up the ladder here that the fall is so high when you go to any other speaker that you're gonna be unable to adjust yourself to that next loudspeaker even though it is a flagship speaker okay this is a flagship speaker it's still going to be a gap of this much where you're not going to be able to come down to this level. So I don't have an answer for that. I think both points are very interesting to me. Uh, what I can tell you is uh, the fact that I'm going to be, I'm going to continue to play with this speaker for, you know, some time. I will be positioning the speaker in the right spot at some point. It is the month of October. So I'm hoping to have the speakers in place end of October, maybe first week of November. I really do not know, depending on my, on you know, the logistics, uh, the help that I need. And so there are a lot of moving pieces that need to take place. You will hear them. Do not worry. You will hear them in due time. I'm just not ready to let you all hear the speaker because I got to be fair to the speaker. The speaker deserves the same amount of um, tweaking, okay, that I have given the Chronosonic XVX. So who knows what will happen? Who knows if this will be my new speaker going forward or has the Chronosonic completely tattooed itself on my body to the point that I can't seem to be able to remove it, even if I use a laser gun, okay? That could be the case with the Chronosonic. I don't know. I'm afraid, to be honest, of doing this experiment because the Chronosonic is, a, is an expensive <laughs> proposition. Even for me, it's an expensive proposition, so I'm afraid of realizing that, yeah, I can never get off uh, the performance. I can never come down from the performance of this speaker, even if I try to bring something flagship like this. This is a widely known speaker, by the way. It's, it's got tremendous reviews out there. Uh, some reviewers have even said this could be their end game speaker and they would never look back. And uh, I don't have much feedback to give you just yet. Uh, but I can tell you it has tremendous potential to be one of the most special loudspeakers I've ever owned. If you most know the MSRP, yes, it's still in the six-digit range. It is not under $100,000 MSRP, okay? I don't know of any flagship speaker that is under 100 k That impresses me, if I'm being honest. I don't. So I wanted to bring... Not a contender, but I wanted to bring a speaker that I can potentially... That could potentially allow me to get off the XVX and look into a different direction, knowing that the XVX is still the best speaker I've ever owned, if that makes sense. Is this speaker sufficient enough to stay? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for your support.